Jeff Rapucci began his hockey career at Holy Cross as an all-rookie defenseman, but injuries ended his career at the end of his second year. Undaunted, he has continued to play a critical role on the team as a volunteer assistant coach the past two years. He does this while majoring in Russian studies, maintaining the highest grade point average in his class, and earning numerous academic and service awards. However, it is the nonprofit organization he founded, Students Helping Children Across Borders, that is the most remarkable. When he traveled to Russia, he was struck by the lack of resources available to kids. Really what I started to reflect on is my experience as an athlete, you know, and, and, and what sports have done for me and the way sports have empowered me to make healthy choices. That's kind of what led to that first project, kind of make an impact in, in, in in, in these areas that I connected with, sports was the way to do that. So Students Helping Children Across Borders was born. The mission is to empower underserved children by promoting health and wellness through education, sports, and recreation programs. He has led the organization to design, fundraise, and execute over $125,000 worth of developmental projects and community programming in five different countries, the U.S., Russia, Argentina, Haiti, and Uganda. You know, sports are not just something that take place on the ice or on the field or practice or, uh, you know, sports, sports is a whole community. It's a whole uh, uh, kind of uh, attitude towards life. Um, and that, for me, became really apparent when I got hurt. But locally, he has another nonprofit, working for Worcester, in which last year, he mobilized over 540 students from seven area colleges, business and civic leaders, and multiple organizations in the Working for Worcester campaign. Others know why he's successful. He has a passion for everything he does um, that you know I, I really haven't come across in my 19 years of coaching here. But when Jeff does something, he's all in. Jeff is changing lives, and his own as well. Uh, I think Jeff's compassion for things that he really cares about, you know, just watching him work with, you know, people in the organization, working for Worcester, which he created, just being around someone with, with that much energy and enthusiasm is, uh, is a pretty awesome deal. Please welcome Jeff Rapucci from Holy Cross. Good evening to everyone. I was, uh, I was hoping that I could blame my raspy voice on a you know, a little allergies or something, but the video clearly outed that this is how I talk 24 seven. I'm not a smoker, I swear. <laughs> um, you know, the first thing I like to do is to just uh, congratulate the other finalists. Um, you know, this, spending a couple days here in Atlanta, uh, which has just been incredible. You know, it's, I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Atlanta is not exactly a uh, hockey haven, uh, but, <laughs> It's been such a delight uh, to get to know everyone here and see how the language and culture of sports transcends our different games, especially with getting to know these, uh, the four student athletes on the wall there. Um, you know, get on the plane coming here, I expected a lot of things out of this couple days. I didn't expect to make four great new friends. So I just want to thank all of you guys for a wonderful couple days. Um, and thank you for just being such an inspiring uh, group, of, group of peers. You know, this is a recognition that I share with a lot of people. Uh, this organization, some of those photos you saw in the video, there's a whole team of wonderful college students, uh, student leaders, athletes uh, in my home city of Worcester at the College of the Holy Cross that make these projects possible. This is something I truly share with them. I'd like to thank them for all of their hard work and commitment to these causes. Of course, I wanna thank you know my school, my incredible Holy Cross community, my coach, Paul Pearl, my teammates, um, my advisor on stage with me, Tony Cashman. Uh, my mother, my, my beautiful mother seated here who, uh, who, uh, thanks Ma. <laughs> this is awesome, when you have the microphone, people just clap if you start clapping your hands, man. Um, you know, uh, hockey has been a force in my life uh, since I was about 18 months old when my mother uh, and, and my father had me out on the ice, you know, leaning on a milk crate, learning how to skate. Um, I pretty much stayed on the ice until I got to Holy Cross uh, when injuries sidelined my career much earlier than I had hoped. 
Um, and this turned out to actually be one of the most profound experiences of my life uh, was this injury. You know, so much as athletes, we spend time thinking about our passion on the ice. Um, and after I got hurt, uh, the way that my teammates, my school community, my coach, former teammates, friends, family, kind of that sports community that I hadn't realized had been bringing me up, you know, for 20 years up until that point, really rallied behind me and turned an injury into something that I thought was going to end my time as a hockey player, but has actually made it so much fuller and richer by finding ways to keep me involved with the team, uh, by finding ways to continue my passion for sports and athletics and other ways to work with other people. Um, you know, my teammates really showed me that it's not just about that passion you play with on the ice or on the field, but about the compassion that you live with uh, on and off it. Um, when, after I got hurt, I had the wonderful privilege and blessing to start a nonprofit organization. And this organization has brought me all over the world and it's introduced me to some amazing people, uh, some of the most inspiring people and communities that I've, that I've ever met. Um, this experience has taught me one lesson that I'd really like to share with everyone here tonight. What it's taught me is that service and citizenship are not a one day proposition. It's not a one day of caring or a, a one-off good deed. Citizenship, service, it's a, it's a lifelong process. It's a lifelong commitment to finding ways to be men and women for others in every facet of our lives, no matter how big or how small. Um, it's just such a great honor to stand here and to be here with an organization, a group of people, a sports community that emphasizes that lifelong discernment and process of citizenship uh, in young people. So thank you so very much. And it's been such a pleasure to be here and get to know all of you and to be here in Atlanta. So thank you.